What is up everyone? Today we are talking Clavio Smart Sending. We're gonna do a quick tutorial. We're gonna go through what Smart Sending is for email, SMS, and push notifications. We're going to explain when to use it, when not to use it, what settings to use, and generally how to approach Clavio Smart Sending and use it as a tool to increase the performance in your account and the customer experience as well. When you've watched this video, make sure you check out our full Clavio course. It shows you exactly how to get the most out of this platform and really increase your retention, your automated email revenue, and your campaign email and SMS revenue as well. So what is Clavio Smart Sending? So it's a built-in feature designed to protect you from inadvertently sending too many communications within a short period of time for email, for SMS subscribers, or for push notifications as well. And how it works is it basically removes people automatically from receiving campaigns or flow messages if they've already received another communication within a predetermined time frame, either 16 hours, which is the default for email, or 24 hours, which is the default for uh, SMS and push notifications. Now, what that means in more simple terms is it's a global kind of safety feature for your Klaviyo account. If you have a ton of stuff going on, you've got all these flows, you've got a campaign calendar, you've got people buying, uh, making orders, you've got people abandoning their cart, you've got people opting in, getting welcome emails. It's super easy to kind of lose track of who's going to get emails are they going to get too many? How many are they going to qualify for today? And it's pretty simple to find yourself in a situation where an individual person in your account could be eligible to get three different emails in the same day. Maybe a couple of flows, you know, an SMS, a campaign that you're sending out. And you really don't want somebody getting three or four emails that all have different messages because your filters aren't set up right. Your smart sending is, isn't configured. And then the user is just like, why am I getting all these emails from this brand? So it's kind of a safety feature that makes it more difficult for you to end up in that situation. And we'll have a look at exactly how and what settings to use in, in a second. Now, in terms of when to use it, as a very, very general rule, if you're just starting out and you just want a blanket rule to follow until you understand how the filters and triggers work a little bit more in Clavio, very generally, we would say consider turning smart sending on for most of your campaigns and turning it off for most of your flows. There are a ton of different exceptions to, to that. We rarely just use that rule as a blanket in the accounts we manage, but that's a decent starting point. And um, we will show you, I will show you in a second how to think about smart sending and to decide uh, when to use it or when not to use it. Now we're just gonna run through a very quick Clavio Smart Sending tutorial so you can see how to configure it in your account and how to use it on campaigns and flows. So this is a uh, Clavio test account that we have. I've clicked on settings, I've gone to email, and then I can click on sending preferences, and this is going to allow me to set my Smart Send window for email. Now the default is 16 hours, so what this means is if I enable the smart sending feature for any flow email or any campaign email, before it's sent, Clavio will look at all the people who are eligible to receive it. And if any one of them has already received an email from us in the last 16 hours, they will be excluded. No exceptions, smart sending overrides everything. No matter what other settings you have, what other triggers you have, if somebody is caught by smart sending, they will be removed and they will not uh, receive the campaign. And that is why it's effective to use as like a blanket way to make sure people aren't receiving a ton of different emails from you um, in a certain period. And you can um, exclude transactional emails from, from this. So um, if somebody receives a, an order confirmation, you can say we don't want to count that because they need to get that, but we also want them to get this flow email and this campaign or, or whatever. And that is pretty good to do if you're using Clavio for your transactional emails. So this is the default email setting, 16 hours. The default for SMS and push notifications is 24 hours. We generally recommend keeping these settings. Um, you can do the SMS configuration here, push notification here. 
This is a demo account, so it's not actually configured for SMS or push right now, but it works just the way that this does. So now let's look at playing with smart sending for flows and campaigns and how to determine whether you need it or not. So if you create a new campaign from scratch in Clavio, whether it's email, SMS, or whatever, the default will have this option here toggled, which means that smart sending is on. So whatever your smart sending window is, 16 hours is the default. If you leave this as is, you can have your segment, your audience of people you're gonna send the campaign to. If any one of them has received another email in the last 16 hours, they will not get your campaign, they will be skipped. And as mentioned, if you have a lot going on in your account, you're just starting out with, with Klaviyo, you're not too familiar with all the, the filters and you know the intricacies of smart sending, just leave it on as a default until you get a bit more, more comfortable. Now, a reason that you might wanna turn this off is if you have something super time sensitive, you're running a big sale, or you just really, really want as many people as possible to get a certain campaign. So let's say it's Black Friday, for example, and you've got all these emails going on, your flows are all updated, you're sending two emails a day to promote your Black Friday offer just to compete with you know, all of your competitors, just get rid of smart sending. All the rules kind of go out the window um, for the most part in, in that period. Um, you know, you can't really send two emails a day, which is often recommended if you've got smart, uh, smart sending on. Another time you're doing a flash shell, like it's two days only, you know, you're sending quite a few emails over that two day period and you just want to get as much exposure as possible for this sale, turn off smart sending. A few people might get, you know, one or two emails more than would be desirable within a, you know, within that weekend or whatever, but it's just a, it's just a one off. However, if you are sending your regular campaign calendar, you've got two or three emails going out a week, your social proof emails, your newsletter, educational content or whatever, nothing that's particularly time sensitive or absolutely essential for someone to receive. If you have a full set of flows going and a pretty solid email program, just turn smart sending on for those emails to make sure that somebody doesn't get a flow email you know, today at midday and then two hours later, they get your campaign email talking about something completely different, maybe a, a different offer, and it's just not gonna be a, a great experience. So generally, we recommend leaving smart sending on for your campaigns, and that is how it's gonna work. Now, for flows, uh, if you remember earlier, we recommended generalization, keep smart sending turned off for most of your flows, if not all of your flows. And the reason for that is, on average, a flow email is more targeted and has a higher priority than a campaign email. And a good example of that would be abandoned checkout. So we've got an abandoned checkout flow here, and you can see that in any flow sequence, um, this little icon, if it's green, that means smart sending is turned on. If it's gray, it means smart sending is turned off. So smart sending is applied on a per email basis for flows. Now we're gonna turn this off in, in a second. Now, the reason we generally want them turned off for flows is this is very, very specific. Someone's abandoned their checkout two hours ago. They have very high intent. We want them to get an abandoned checkout email two hours later that has, hey, this is what you're about to buy. Here's an offer, or here's why we think you should buy it, or here's some social proof, or, or whatever. There's a very clear reason for the user to get that email. It's perfectly targeted for them. However, if you're also sending out a campaign to, you know, the entirety of your engaged subscribers, say you have 30,000 people in an engaged segment and you're sending out your weekly newsletter, like it's not that important for a specific person to get that newsletter because it's pretty generic. We would much rather them get the flow email. If they've got a choice which email are they gonna get within a 16 hour period, we want them to get the flow email that is designed specifically for them rather than the uh, campaign email, which is just a generic newsletter. So generally, we will leave uh, smart sending off for flows as they're more important, and we will leave smart sending on for campaigns so that we can check, oh, as this person already received another email, likely from a flow, if so, we don't wanna, we don't wanna bother them. So again, there are many, many situations where that is not the case, but generally, start with smart sending off for flows. 
Again, this is done on a per email basis. Now, you might get to a point where if you have a whole bunch of flows, the filters are getting super confusing and crazy. You might be in a point where you kind of say, okay, for some of these flow emails, I want to use smart sending as a safety net because it's really hard to work out. Is this person going to be triggering multiple of these flow emails in one day? That happens when you get you know, pretty complex with, with your automations. So once you get more advanced, you might want to start turning smart sending on for specific flow emails. But by that point, you probably have a pretty good understanding of Klaviyo and how everything works. And you're just going to have to um, make like a judgment call for, for that situation on, on your own. Some brands do use the smart sending in, in their flows. Browse abandonment is a good, good example of where it can make sense. And again, if you just have a lot of complex stuff going on, you might want to, to use it. So if we wanted to turn smart sending off for this entire flow, we're going to click on the individual email and you can see that the toggle is on because it's green. We're going to toggle it off and um, now it is gray. So no smart sending will be applied to any email in, uh, in this flow which is generally what we would recommend. So that's a basic explanation of Clavio Smart Sending. As you get more experience with the platform, you will develop more of a feel of when to use it versus uh, when not. If you wanna stay you know, more on the safe, less aggressive side, use it as a catch-all, particularly for campaigns. And then as you get more advanced, you might wanna start using it for some more of your flows. Check out our complete Clavio course in the description along with our agency consulting and done with you Clavio offerings. Thanks for watching. Check out the Clavio playlist on this channel. Tons more videos coming and I'll see you in the next one.